I wanted to touch real quick on, on a, a, my short story and how it connects to co-creating Van Talks. I recently opened a business that, uh, where I received a lot of criticism um, and was told that we should open it in the state of Oregon. We should open it in Portland because the laws and, and, um, and codes are easier. Multnomah County is easier to work with. And it was at that time when I made a decision that my dream to open a business wasn't about the easy road. It was about my dream for creating a business in Vancouver, in my own backyard, in my own town that I believe in and am, and am committed to. And that's really where the impetus um, came from for Van Talks is the same heart and passion for creating a business in Vancouver is Kevin and I getting together and talking about what we wanted to see out of our city. Um, I have a, a slight confession to make um, when talking about uh, 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 Vancouver. Uh, sometimes when I travel, if I go uh, for a vacation or visiting a, a family friend, and I get asked that simple question, and maybe some of you can relate to this, and you get asked the question, where are you from? I'll sometimes answer I'm from Portland, Oregon, or near Portland, Oregon. And I know some of you do as well because we get, we get ex it's exhausting having to have that conversation that you know is going to ensue. And I'm tired about hearing how beautiful British Columbia is. And my wife is Canadian, and so I apologize for that joke. So uh, that was a part of, of my story, but uh, in my leadership Clark County class, which is a class of 2010, uh, best class ever. Uh, we got a chance to meet the uh, president and CEO of Agave Jeans. Agave Jeans is a, uh, a high-end um, jean manufacturer that at that time was based in Los Angeles. And they had just relocated uh, their business, their entire manufacturing facility up here. And he told us the story about how he got tired of telling his vendors and his colleagues uh, and having to talk against um, uh, him, people thinking that he was from Vancouver, BC, being confused with Canada. So it was at that time that it really became clear to me the uphill battle that we have and that we deal with in something called I, uh, identity. So I wanted to touch on that who we are as Vancouver, what makes us up. And I think that this uphill journey is actually revealed that we as a city have a, actually a crisis of identity. And it's not just at a city level, but when you think about it, even, even when you're, let's say, west of, uh, east of the Midwest, if you say you're from Washington, they think Washington, D.C. So... Throw in to boot, even Clark County, you have Clark County, Nevada, which is one of the most popular cities in our, our country, uh, Las Vegas. So uh, it's just, this, we have this multi-layer identity issue. And I have a, a love-hate relationship with this, with this t-shirt, but I think it so succinctly describes our identity issue. Um, so our, our, our past and even our present uh, politicians and organizations have done some work to try to rebrand our city or to, to deal with this I identity issue. And of course, we all know that we've, we've uh, been called the original Vancouver, which is, of course, historically accurate, but is not very sticky. It's hard, it's that easily forgotten. Uh, Mayor R Royce Pollard, uh, during his term as he served um, as mayor, uh, had great insight to this, and he did some work on uh, campaigning around calling us America's Vancouver. And I, I commend him for the work that he did. Um, the part that kind of drives me crazy when I think about that is if you Google image America's Vancouver, this is what comes up. It's a sporting event in Vancouver, B.C., so not only did they take our city name, but they took America's Vancouver from us. So 
I say all, I say all this just to talk about how multi-layered this issue really is. Uh, so lastly, the last piece of it is just being across the river from what many of us think of Portland, of being such a great city that Portland is. So we're thought of as possibly a, a bedroom community of Portland. And there's some upsides and there's some downsides to being a, a bedroom community. And I believe one of those downsides is, is adding to the ident- identity crisis. Um, uh, here's an example. So we've all probably seen this sticker. Keep Portland weird. This is a part of Portland's identity. It's sticky. It's easy to remember. It's well known. So I came across a sticker, and I couldn't believe it. And I'll never forget the time that I saw it, but it was this. So my concern with this is that this is in reaction to who we're not. And it's, it's not saying who we are. And so when you juxtapose these together, it just becomes this glaring, this glaring thing of just showing what, what our identity crisis really is. So my hope tonight is that after tonight, you'll have 10 more reasons with these speakers, these 10 speakers, you'll have 10 more reasons to be proud of living in Vancouver, from being from Vancouver, from working in Vancouver. And I hope that tonight we gain a little bit more footing and we create little stepping stones for us answering the question of who is Vancouver, what is our identity, and what are we going to be about? So with that, I will introduce our three uh, sponsors. And we couldn't have done this night without our sponsors. And our our three sponsors are uh, the Vancouver Downtown Association. Uh, Lee Rafferty is representing tonight. (laughs) Elora Lashir with the Community Foundation. (laughs) And then um, IQ Credit Union. And Julia Renz, I'll ask you to come up. And these people and these organizations are committed to this vision of discovering the identity of Vancouver. So tonight after the event, we're having a meet and greet, question and answer time upstairs in the Kiggins Lounge. Find them, get to know them, and just thank them for sponsoring the event.